Hi, in previous lecture I discussed three example of DFS. In today's lecture I will discuss parenthesis theorem and application of DFS. In any depth first search of a directed or undirected graph G equals to BE, B for vertices and E for edges. For any two vertices U and V exactly one of the following three conditions hold. First condition the interval U dot D u dot f d is discovery time f is finishing time and v dot d b dot f this d for discovery time and f for finishing time are entirely disjoint and neither u nor b is a descendant of the other in the depth first forest let's understand with the example let a its discovery time is 1 and finishing time is 12 it is our u and let G, its discovery time is 13 and finishing time is 20, it's our V. You can mark this 1, 12 and 13, 20, both are entirely disjoint, they are not related. You can mark in the DFS forest that A and G are not descendant of each other or ancestor of each other, they are different. Even A, H, they are different. A, I. They are not related, they are disjoint, so they are different. A, J. Both discovery time and finishing time are disjoint, they are different, they are not descendant of other. Next condition, the interval U dot D, U dot F is contained entirely within the interval B dot D, V dot F means saying u discovery time and finishing time is within b discovery time and finishing time then u is the descendant of v in the depth first tree let's see is our u and a is our v you can mark c discovery time 2 is within 1 and c finishing time 11 is within 12 so 2 and 11 are within 1 and 12 you can write like this 1 then 2 then 11 then 12 so these two are u discovery time and u finishing time these 1 and 12 are v discovery time and v finishing time so it is saying if u discovery time and finishing time contain entirely within v discovery time and finishing time then u is descendant of v in the depth first tree you can mark c is descendant of a in the depth first tree. D also can be our U. D discovery time and finishing time are within A discovery time and finishing time. So D is a descendant of A. Even F can be our U. F discovery time and finishing time is within A discovery time and finishing time. Also within C discovery time and finishing time. So F can be descendant of A or C. But F time is disjoint from D. You can mark D time is 3 or 4 discovery time and finishing time. While F time is 5 and 10. Both are disjoint. So D and F are not descendant of each other. While D can be descendant of C or D can be descendant of A. F can be descendant of C and F can be descendant of A. So you need to mark the discovery time and finishing time. If one is entirely within other, then that will be descendant of that node. Next point, it's just opposite of previous. The interval V discovery time, V finishing time is contained entirely within the interval U discovery time and U finishing time. Then V is descendant of U in the depth first tree. Suppose this is our V, this is our U. If V discovery time and V finishing time is contained entirely within A discovery time and finishing time. So 2 and 11 are entirely within 1 and 12. So you can say C is a descendant of A. Even D can also be descendant of A. We can write 1, 3, 4, 12. Let's check F and D f time is 5 and 10 while d time is 3 and 4 this f time f discovery and finishing time is not within d so f is not descendant of d f time and d time are distant so they are not descendant of other 
बी डिस्कवरी टाइम एंड फिनिशिंग टाइम कंटेन एंटरली विद इन एफ डिस्कवरी टाइम एंड फिनिशिंग टाइम सो यू कैन से बी इज ए डिसेंडेंट ऑफ ए इवन ई इज ए डिसेंडेंट ऑफ एफ सो फ्रॉम द नंबर यू कैन से विच नोट इज डिसेंडेंट ऑफ विच नोट नेक्स्ट आई विल डिस्कस एप्लीकेशन ऑफ डी एफ एस एप्लीकेशन ऑफ डी एफ एस इंक्लूड्स चेकिंग कनेक्टिविटी चेकिंग आ साइक्लिसिटी ऑफ द ग्राफ फर्दर ग्राफ इज कनेक्टेड और फर्दर ग्राफ कंटेन एनी साइकिल दैट वी कैन चेक फ्रॉम द डी एफ एस चेकिंग ग्राफ कनेक्टिविटी कैन बी डॉन एज फॉलो स्टार्ट डी एफ एस ट्रावर्सल एट एन आर्बिटरी वर्टिक्स एंड चेक आफ्टर द ग्राफ हॉल्स फर्दर ऑल दर्टिस ऑफ द ग्राफ विल है If all have been visited, then it is connected. Otherwise, it is not connected. We can also check connected component of the graph. I will discuss with the example that from number we can check how many connected component are there, whether graph is connected or not. Next, how to check cycle present or not from the DFS tree? If there is a backage present, then there is a cycle. If no back is present, then there is no cycle. If there is a back is from some vertex U to its ancestor V, the graph has a cycle path from V to U via a sequence of tree edges in the DFS forest followed by the back is from U to V. There are tree edges present from V to U and there are back edges present from U to V. So you can say there is a cycle from U to V or V to U. Other application of DFS is finding articulation point. So first understand what is articulation point. A vertex of a connected graph is said to be its articulation point if its removal with all edges incident to it break the graph into disjoint pieces. If removal of a vertex make the graph disjoint, then that is called as articulation point. Let's discuss one example of finding connectivity. We'll also check how many components are there from just the discovery time and finishing time. Option A, one six. One is the discovery time. Six is the finishing time. Let one vertex A, B, C, D. First we'll push A. Next we'll push B. Next we'll push C. Then you can check your finishing time is four. Means we'll pop C, then we'll pop B, then we'll pop A. After that we'll push D and we'll pop D. So there are two component. One component containing A, B, C, and another component containing D. So the graph is disconnected, having two component. Next option B for A discovery time is one. So you can push A. Next for B discovery time is two. We can push B onto the stack. For C discovery time is three. We can push C onto the stack. Then for D discovery time is four. We can push D onto the stack. Next for D pop time or finishing time is five. We can pop D. Next we can pop C. Then we can pop B. Then we can pop. A. So from the discovery time and finishing time, we can check at which time will push and her at which time will pop. This is a connected graph having one component. Next option C. There are four vertex. Let it be A, B, C, and D. For A, discovery time is one. We'll push A onto the stack. For B, discovery time is two. We'll push B onto the stack. Next is three. Means this is the finishing time for B. We can pop it. And for A, finishing time is four, so we can pop A. After that, we can push C onto the stack. Discovery time is five. Next, we can push D onto the stack. Discovery time is six. Then finishing time for D is seven. Finishing time for C is eight. So there are two component. First component contain A, B. Second component contain C, D. The graph is disconnected, having two component. Each component contain two vertex. Next option D. There are four vertex. Let A, B, C, D. For A, discovery time is one. So I'll we'll push A onto the stack. Then its finishing time is two. Its finishing time is two means we'll pop that from the stack. Next for B, discovery time is three. So I'll we'll push onto the stack. And its finishing time is four means we should pop it. Next for C, discovery time is five, so we'll push onto a stack, 
and its finishing time is 6 means we should pop it. Next for D, its discovery time is 7, so we should push and finishing time is 8 means we should pop it. So the graph is disconnected having 4 component. So the graph is disconnected having 4 separate component and each component contain 1 vertex. With this, I am finishing DFS. In DFS, I discussed DFS algorithm, DFS forest, type of edges in DFS forest like tree edges, back edges, cross edges, and forward edges. I discussed some examples, parenthesis theorem, and application of DFS. In next lecture, I'll discuss BFS. If this lecture is helpful for you, please like and subscribe. Thank you.